Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to build and customize CRUD applications using React and Google Apps Script. We will use Google Sheets as the database. I have designed this application based on a task management system that displays a list of tasks with their due dates and statuses. The entire application can be customized simply by editing the schema, which I'll demonstrate later. This is the spreadsheet being used here. What's great about this application is that you don't even need to create these sheets like records or other sheets. The application will create them for you when it does not exist and add the missing headers. You can create a new task like this. What's great about this form is that it includes a creatable select feature. What does that mean? Here you can see the project dropdown. You can create a new project item directly from here. Let me show you a complete demo by filling out this form. I'll create a new project now. And as you can see, a new project has been added to the dropdown. Now I'll complete the rest of the form and click the Save button. Here you can see that a new task record has been created successfully. Next, let's try editing this task. As you can see, the task record was edited successfully. To delete any record, you can click the trash icon. Confirm to delete it. You can also manage all your drop-downs from this page. This page is automatically generated based on the schema provided. It filters fields in the schema that require Google Sheets as the drop-down source and builds individual tabs corresponding to those fields. Here you can perform standard CRUD operations to manage your drop-downs. Add a new item, edit it, or delete it. If you are liking this video, then please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button. Now let's talk about how to set this up. If you want to use this application as it is, start by making a copy of the spreadsheet from the link in the description below. Then go to Extensions and select App Script. This will open the script editor in a new tab. Next, click Deploy and choose New Deployment. Set the deployment type to Web App. In the description box, type anything, like version 1. In the Execute as dropdown, choose Me. In the Who Has Access dropdown, select only myself or anyone if you want to make it public. Then click the Deploy button. You'll be prompted to authorize the script. Grant the necessary permissions. Once deployed, you'll receive a web app URL. Open it in a new tab. You'll now see the application live. If you want to modify the application, click the GitHub repository link in the description box. Download the zip file. and open it in your code editor. Now we need to attach this script to a spreadsheet. You can create a new spreadsheet or you can use my spreadsheet. Make a copy of my spreadsheet from the link given in the description box. Then open the script editor by going to extensions and then app script. Go to the Settings tab and copy the script ID. Now, in your code editor, rename the configuration file to clasp.json and replace the script ID with your copied ID. Now, in the terminal, run npm install to install all the packages.
You may need to install Clasp if haven't done already. This is the command to install Clasp. You can watch my previous video for the detailed instructions. Then deploy it by executing npm run deploy. Once the code is pushed, go back to the script editor. You'll need to deploy it again, just as you did before. Once deployed, you'll get a web app URL. Open it in a new tab. This time I'll use the dev URL, which always points to the latest code. To get the dev URL, click on the deploy button and then select test deployment. This will give you the dev URL. This way, you won't need to redeploy the app every time you make a change. Now the application is live. To customize the application, you'll need to understand the code and file structure. This project is built on top of my previous project. I have provided its link in the description below. Let's go through a code walkthrough. This GAS folder contains the Google Apps script files. These are deployed directly within the script editor of Google Sheets. API.js file contains server-side APIs exposed to the client. For example, functions to fetch or manipulate sheet data. AppsScript.json is the manifest file that defines project metadata like permissions. Code.js. It includes core functions that are responsible to deploy this application as a web app. CSS.html and JS.html. It holds CSS and JavaScript snippets to be injected into index.html. Index.html. This is the main entry point of the Google Apps Script web app front end. ORM.js. This implements an abstraction for managing Google Sheets as a database. This source folder contains the React front end code. Inside the source directory, we have a folder for storing all the components like form, table, and navbar. Form component will be used by different application pages to render our form based on the provided schema. It supports dynamic fields and validations. Navbar renders menus based on the roots file. Let me show the roots file. This contain routes to different pages in the application. The title of this route object is used to construct the navbar with corresponding menus. Smart table is a dynamic table component tied to the schema for displaying and interacting with data. It's a complete CRUD table that allows us to perform create, edit, and delete operations. You can have rich formatting of different columns by editing the schema. You won't need to modify files in the component folder. You may edit those if you want to make it even more functional and rich. Lib folder contain a file named utils that can contain helper functions used across the application. For example, formatting, data transformation, etc. A pages directory is the most important one. You will create different pages for your application here only. Like here it contains three different pages, namely home, dropdowns, and settings. We will import these pages in the routes file. Let me show you that file. Here you can see the routes file that imports the different pages and also provides titles for those pages. For example, this home folder contains the schema for generating the home page. Let's see the schema first. And here you can see different fields for the task application. You can see logic for formatting due date and status columns. Finally, we generate the page in the page.jsx file. 
Now let's look at the drop-down manager page. You can manage all the drop-downs belonging to different pages here. To configure that, first import the schema from different pages like this. Then uncomment this line and include all the schemas with the spread operator. Then it will generate different tabs corresponding to different drop-downs, like you have seen in the drop-down manager. The settings page has been left empty for future modification. Server folder contains a file named gas.jsx. This file is a bridge between the React front-end and the Google Apps script back-end. Functions in this file use google.script.run to call server-side scripts. Now let's add one more page to this application to see how easy it is to modify the application. Make a duplicate copy of this folder. I will name it budgeting to record the budget for different project heads. And then modify the schema. I will just paste the new schema here. You can see new fields like project, account category, budget amount, spent amount, and etc. Now we will have to import this page into the roots file. Let's do that. Now we will deploy it. The code is pushed now. Let's refresh the application. And here you can see our new page for budgeting. Let's create a new record here. And here you see our new record was created successfully. That's it. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.